Maricela, you and your colleagues have recently published a paper on seaweed farming. And now seaweed farming has often been portrayed as a success. But your study brings out nuances to this story. What are these? Uh, yes, what, what we have tried to look is to look more uh, holistic the problem of seaweed farming. So mm -hmm. we have taken into consideration economic aspects, for example, that, that they earn very little from the activity, mm -hmm. ecological aspects, for example, that uh, even though it's, it's, uh, it's not uh, the, the worst form of aquaculture, mm -hmm. it still has some impacts in the environment. Mm -hmm. But, but the, the main focus is really on health issues. We have looked at how this uh, activity uh, has an impact on the health of the women that are performing it. Mm. Uh, so for example, we, have, we found that uh, women seaweed farmers are having problems with a lot of pain in their body, uh, muscular pain, skeleton mm. pains. Uh, they have problems with, the, with their eyes because of the reflection in the water. Um, dangerous animals, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. So this aspect of health uh, is is the key issue that we wanted to to bring up. Mm -hmm. And methodologically, how did you perform the study? Uh, yeah, what what we did is that that we we selected Zanzibar Island as a case study because uh, it's very popular seaweed farming there, and mm -hmm. is the case that is portrayed as a as success everywhere. Uh, so we went uh, around Zanzibar Island and selected all the villages that are doing this activity. Mm -hmm. And then and then we interviewed seaweed farmers mm -hmm. and non-seaweed farmers. Mm -hmm. and, and that is seldom done. So, so we have a very good opportunity to really compare the two groups mm -hmm. and, and, and to perform uh, a statistical analysis to see if there were real differences mm -hmm. between the groups. And uh, also we made deep interviews with, with women and uh, all together shows that, that the, the health of the seaweed farmers is perceived as poorer than, mm -hmm. than the other non-seaweed farmers. Mm -hmm. And despite these issues, do you still think that seaweed farming has potential? Uh, oh yes, yes. We, we think that, that seaweed farming has a lot of potential. Uh, to begin with, it's, it's a very, very spread activity, not mm -hmm. only in Zanzibar and East Africa, but the whole tropical region. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of seaweed farming uh, going on, and uh, we think that, that with some uh, changes in the activity, the, the situation can be better. Uh, the changes can be very, very local and small technological innovations, mm -hmm. uh, but also it can, they are in, in a larger scale, for example, market dynamics and, and things that are, they are very difficult to control at local level, but they are important to take into account in the analysis. Mm -hmm. um, specifically for Zanzibar, it would be important to look at better working conditions, uh, simple more simple methods to, to, to do the cultivation that are not taking so much energy mm. uh, to f for the women, and uh, probably that they can develop their own processing plants mm. uh, to extract the, the, the product of the algae so they mm. can have better economical benefits. Mm.